Good day to all of you there in Hawaii. To Aris family, headed by Alex uh, and her wife Rebecca, as well as their children, Aristotle, Nasses, Revy Rose, and her husband uh, Damian R Ramos, and Jack the youngest son. My wife and I are here in my brother's house in Cavite for a week Christmas vacation. We hope by God's grace we will meet or see you all again here in the Philippines. Okay? This morning, I would like to talk about the predicament of man and a heavenly invitation. First of all, you are now sitting there and beneath you is a fiery hell. Because we are born sinners and because we are the offspring of Adam and because we are we ourselves have seen we are all without salvation, a potential residence of hell. Many people do not believe in hell, but Jesus testified about it and I'm willing to take his word that there is hell in the lower region of the earth. The law of opposites demands if there is heaven there is hell. The Bible play, uh, plainly declares God created a hell. Please read Matthew chapter 25 verse 41. And this portion of scripture is saying that hell was or originally prepared for Satan and his wayward angels. These statements in the Bible cannot be denied simply because God does not lie and cannot lie. And if a person rejects to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, then that person must suffer eternal torment. Hell is a real place of torment. So don't carry it away with all those barbershop argumentation and debate. Let me assure you that there are souls in hell. The scriptures tells us that the rich man in Luke chapter 16 died. His conscious soul uh, was in torment. He was so alive that he was praying, but God, but unfortunately, God does not uh, hear or answer his prayer request or absolutely deny. Consider these facts and truth. When you decide to go to hell, you are in the home of fallen angels. When you decide to go to hell, your neighbors are demons. When you decide to go to hell, sinners are your companion. Violence and misery is uh, what you will experience. 
there is no such thing as decency and righteousness. So, for me, I don't wish to go that place even with invitation from Satan. This world is not my home. I choose heaven, my home, a place that has no death, no sickness, no sorrow. Heaven is a better destination for all true Christians. John said, I look and behold, a door was open in heaven. So there is an open door in heaven and we hear Jesus' invitation. From that open door, true followers of Jesus shall receive mercy, shall receive grace, shall receive forgiveness, and finally receive eternal life, all courtesy of our wonderful Savior, Jesus Christ. In the end, don't ignore this revealed truth. Hell is a literal place of punishment where the wicked awaiting the scripture spotlight, the white throne judgment drama, and the casting of all wicked people into the lake of fire, where they will remain there forever and ever. Brothers and sisters, don't let anyone to disprove the word of God, especially about everlasting fire. It is all true. So uh, thank you and good day to everybody. Happy New Year 2010. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you and worship you in spirit and truth. We thank you, Father God, for giving us new light, new health, new strength, new mind, and new hope. Lord, direct our plans and protect us and save us from all evils, from all accidents, and from all sickness. By your grace, please take care the Aris family, day by day. Lord, to, <clears throat> as you have set the example of forgiveness, we too must follow, forgive, and forget. I, Lord, also Lord, help them uh, and teach them to understand the true meaning of God's love and care. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.